Good afternoon. Welcome to Channel 69's News at Noon. Hello, I'm Brian Gimble. And I'm Connie Chung. In today's news, Phil McCrevis won his long-going court case today. Mr. McCrevis was arrested in 1984 for walking his garden llama without a leash. He has been in prison for the past 17 years awaiting his trial. With the aid of Johnny Cochran, Mr. Crevice is now $25 million richer and a free man. This just in, three teenagers were killed today while in a freak fireworks accident while working on a film for their civics class. More on that story as it develops. Stay with us, folks, as we have a word from our sponsors. I ain't nothing like to tell old Putin. This is Bill Cosby coming live from the Barry family's bathroom. <laughs> trying to tell you about Jell-O Putin. Tapioca flavor. <laughs> this is how you make some Jell-O Putin. Even starting from the store. You pick it up and you take it to the <laughs> cash register. You give them the money when they say how much it costs. You bring it home, you get your big bowl. <laughs> and you put in some milk and then the jello pudding. You mix it up until it's firm like a baby's butt cheeks and you put it in the refrigerator for a little while. You come back when it's all firm and cool and you eat joy, old jello pudding. <clears throat> back to the news at noon. Welcome back to our broadcast. It is now 12.52 p.m. Now for the latest news in Afghanistan. Here is our own Connie Chung. Thank you, Brian. Today, Osama bin Laden was found in the outskirts of Majar e Sharif. He was being anally raped by a 300 pound mountain goat. More on that story as it develops, so be sure to tune in at New Gen 11. Brian? Thanks, Connie. Now, here's your local forecast for your area from Chief Meteorologist. Pat McGroin. Hi, I'm meteorologist Pat McGroin. Today, in the mountainous regions, we're expecting a lot of snow today. And down in the river valley, we're expecting a flood, so you better have your raincoats on. Oh, what's the, where did my weather map go? Oh, back to you. Now back to the news at noon. Welcome back to the show. I'm Brian Gumble. Well, it's time now for our weekly Teacher Feature Showcase. Today, we'll take an in-depth look at Mr. Mike Moynihan from Riverside High School. Mr. Moynihan teaches civics. We will now take a look in his first block class. All right, okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some group work now. Uh, well, for one thing, we're gonna sponge the board. Now, let's see here. Uh, Cream cheese. I don't. I like cream cheese. Some people don't like cream cheese, and I'm not saying you're right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Now, well, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do some group work right now, so I'm gonna split you up in 23 groups of one, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, you're dead here. I mean, really. I mean, they're gonna be all asleep. We're gonna have to send you down the infirmary because you got stitches in your head. Oh my God. It's like pushing rope. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now that's here. Uh, we got a little political card now, Mr. Kane. Wake up! All right, now. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, political cartoon. Now, there, Mr. Chapman, would you please pay attention? Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I was going to focus up here. All right. All right, now we're going to write out. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write our first letter of our name on a paper. All right, can you handle that? Yeah, okay. Waiting on you, e step. Come on. <laughs> All right, now, let's see. We're going to do a cartoon analysis and some group work. And then, ah! Well, that's all we have for today. For Connie Chung, Pat McGroin, and Phil McCrevis in the control room, I'm Bryant Gumbel, saying good night, and don't forget to stay tuned for Hunting with Travis after a word from our sponsors here on Channel 69. Hello, I'm Travis, and welcome to Hunting with Travis. Today we're in the Black Hills of West Virginia, and we're going to be hunting for the elusive Abu Dhabi. He mainly stays in heavily wooded areas in the mountains and he usually 
comes down at night to steal people's underwear while they're asleep in the uh, little town below the mountain. We're going to be using a 30 6 deer rifle and we're going to be hunting. We're going to be ground hunting today. We're going to be out up in the hills and we got a spot set out. We've seen plenty of good sign, but no sign of the, the beast yet. So stay tuned today. We're going to have a good hunting show and hope you get to see some good footage of this animal. Hi, welcome back to our show. I'm Travis and this is Hunting with Travi. We're going to be hunting the elusive Abu Dhabu as you already know. We've, we've already arrived at our spot here and we're going to be heading up on this side of the mountain up here to where our spot is where we saw some tracks last weekend. We're hoping he'll still be around in the area somewhere so we're going to head up over there now and we'll see you when we get to the stand. Okay. We're walking up the hillside here to our spot now. It's just a few more, not too far now. We got a trench dug out on up the hill here. Spot where we've seen a couple of uh, signs of the uh, Abu Dhabi of West Virginia. We're going to be uh, trying to get a sign up and see if we can't get a good shot on him and make a good wall hanger out of this Abu Dhabi here. to our spot here and we've we've spotted the elusive Abu Dhabi. He's, he's moving up along the bridge here. He's right there if you can see him. But you have to be quiet or Gus will spook him. Now here in a second he's gonna turn and then we're gonna get a good shot on him. So then we can get so we can get this wall hanger and we can get a home. Alright right, here he goes. There he is. He's pretty mad. He's gonna turn to the side and we're gonna get a good shot on him. Alright here goes. He's dead. All right, we got him. Good job. Well, come on, let's head up the hill and get him. Okay. All right, here it is. There's the big Abu Dhabi. Got a nice big belly. <laughs> got a nice big belly on him. Nice big mane here. He don't have his horns just yet. They ain't bloomed in this time of year. They ain't started yet. But we were sitting down there in our trench, down over the hill there, and he, he was up on top there, Abu Dhabi went around eating some sticks and stuff. And he made that good turn to the right. And I let him have it. He come down the hill. Here he is. Good hunt. Abu Dhabi hunting, West Virginia. You ought to come down here and try it sometime. Well, I hope you had fun with us today on this great hunt. You need to come out here sometime to West Virginia. And you can go out here on your own. Just get your proper hunting license and everything. And make sure you got the, the. You have to have your gun. That's the most important thing. You have to have the right shells. You have to find out what different kind of species of Abu Dhabi they have. I'm sure there's many. Many different kinds. Hold on a second. I have to put the big vehicle here in four wheel drive. We're starting to slide a bit. We're up here in West Virginia in the beginning to the middle of January and it's still a little bit of snow on the ground. But it don't bother him Abu Dhabi too much. They got that big thick fur on them. So just come on down to West Virginia. You can get a guide through any kind of association. You can get a guide or you can come down here on your own. Hunt Abu Dhabi in the great West Virginia. Well, that's all we got time for today, so meet me here next next week where we'll be hunting great white elk over in Montana. I'll see you next week. This is Hunting with Travi. I'm Travis. I'll see you next week. Hey there! I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about a wonderful education experience at Billy Bob's Institute of Outdoor Technology. You'll get the education you need because successful welfare job. In just six weeks, you can master the rifle, the bear can, the pole, heck, you'll even be able to master bait. So go ahead and apply now. That's Billy Bob Institute of Outdoor Technology, 1330 
Skunk Hole Drive in Boone County, West Virginia. Thank you now. Follow me. What the hell are you looking at? I've been following this red Ford, Ford Dooley for about eight miles now. He's been swerving, speeding. I'm just waiting to see, see if he messes up one more time. I'm gonna get it. We're on the chase still with that red Ford. He's leading us everywhere. Wild goose chase. He's right here. He might stay stopped. I got my deputy here in the back. He's ready to brawl. The move. We're gonna get him. Deputy's ready in the back. If we don't pull over, I'm gonna have to call for backup. Call the rest of it. Already low on fuel from chasing him. Stop, we got the deputy ready in the back to shoot the tire out. Where the gonna pull over now? to watch these guys. Either the truck stolen or their arm. Why else would they come all the way over here?
That's right. That's the way you gotta handle these young punks. The boys will learn. That's right. Just doing my service for the love. Some people call this, uh, what, brutal force? Yeah. Teach them a lesson. Police brutality? I don't even know how to spell it. The long arm of I believe we can find a couple more. Oh, we'll don't believe these cameramen going to be working for us anymore. That's right. Well, they don't like the way we work. That's right. I'm good. They like the way we work, boy. Turn that camera out. Turn it out. Turn it out, boy. I don't play around. You think I play around? I know. I'm going to take a shot. You're going to take a shot. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm not coming for you, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm not coming for you. Cops is coming from a large vacation on WV State, front of the church. Here's a little song I wrote. I have to sing it note for note. I don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. Brian Gumble, Brian King. Don't worry. Be happy now. Tom Chung with Josh Chapman. Don't worry. Be happy now. Pat McGroin was Travis Berry. Don't worry. Bill Cosby was happy. Brian King. Don't worry. Be happy now. Bill McCravis was Travis Berry. Abu Dhabi was Brian King. I'll be happy. Victim number one was Josh Chapman. I'll be happy. Victim number two was Travis Berry. The police officer was played by Mark Daniels. Mark Moynihan was played by Josh Chapman. Brian King played with his son. <laughs> Billy Bob was Dean Barry. Special thanks to Matt Barry, the cameraman. Dean Barry, Billy Bob. Mark Daniels, the police officer, and Mr. Maynard for letting us use his room. Dabu. <laughs> it's got a nice big body on him. Nice rack here. Nice, nice long mane <laughs> going here. Real nice. He's gonna make a good wall hanger. He come up to this point right here. <laughs> oh, are you filming? Or you are filming? Yeah. God. <laughs> I can't even have my preparation. <laughs> got to have my preparation for my filming. You know that I am a voluptuous film student. Oh. No, Hi. 
Hey there. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about this wonderful education experience at Billy Bob Institute of Outdoor Technology. You'll get the education you need and become successful welfare jockey. In just six weeks, you can even learn to masturbate. So, go ahead and apply now. Now, we'll learn you rifles, how to open the bear can successfully, and hell, we'll teach you how to feed the dog. Institute of Outdoor Technology. 1330 Skunk Hole Drive, Boone County, West Virginia. Come and see us. Hey there. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about a wonderful education experience at Billy Bob Institute of Outdoor Technology. You'll get the education you need and become a successful welfare jockey. In just six weeks, well, it, Frank, I'm gonna stick a fart machine in the water and watch bubbles. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Thinking I could never live without you by my side. But as I go with the many nights feeling sorry for myself, I grew strong. And something how you be wrong and now you're back mm -mm -mm, from out of space. Mm -mm -mm. There's a doggy in the room and I'm gonna smack it in the face. I should have changed that stupid luck. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd have known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. So now I go, eh, 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 walk out the door. Eh, 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 don't turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. I got on my left leave. I got on my left give. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. So I'm gonna turn it up. It's a little song I wrote. Help me sing it not for not. I uh, don't worry. Be happy. And don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. something else and he missed and he made his head look like a black mark. It's pretty weird. Yeah. We now see our heroes in training. We're getting ready to edit the film and yeah. And then here's our cameraman. Try me the camera. Show us your show us. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Hey. Hey Matthew. Matthew. Look at the Look at the camera. Now compare and contrast. Well, this little munchkin and that big goomba. <laughs> this little munchkin Munchkin. And that big goomba. Munchkin. And that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we look back to the Matthew. Hey, Brian, we're going to run out of battery power, won't you? Oh, yeah. We need to use the camera for the editing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Puppet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Puppet. Bye-bye, Puppet. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Please, let's not leave that one out. Oh. How you turn it on? <laughs>
<laughs> this right here is oh. red button. 